learners, come here real quick. I think you're going to hook me up to this all by myself. <laughs> I want all my new learners right next to me. And that's what we do. We go to war together. Come on, come on in. Miss Hamilton, Sherry, come on in. Deanna, Styler. Where's Miss Boston at? There she is, right there. So, um, again, thank you. I think I want to start backwards. Um, everybody's here? Yes. No, now you make me feel comfortable. You make me feel safe when I see you, Miss Hamilton. So I, I really want to thank um, the Niagara Falls High School and Principal Jones. Um, a special thanks to um, Mrs. Villaro. Um, without her, probably, we'll be outside doing this. She finds a space. She accommodates us. So really, really thank you for that. Um, so this program is based off the Wright brothers. I don't know if you know who the Wright brothers is. There are people that, um, two brothers that thought they could fly a plane um, in the air. And at the time they was thinking about this plane, they were building the plane in Ohio in a bicycle shop. <laughs> so I thought that how do we um, take our new learners past the high school stage and once they're on real uh, life experience, how do you keep them gliding? So I figured out a way through real work-based learning. And I'm gonna take the word um, from Ms. Sharon. We use this triage approach. The first stage, when you walk into an emergency room or you walk into this high school, you, we go upstairs and we train them. And we give them these soft skills. You know, look someone in the eye, firm handshake. Uh, uh, pull up your pants. I mean, you have to teach these things nowadays. Uh, and then the second week, uh, we put on these aprons. You know, we, we become one. You know, the group becomes one. And then the third stage, we come down here, or the second stage, excuse me. We come down here and we deal with real money, real problems, uh, real solutions, real critical thinking. And then the third stage is that we have restaurants. We have these amazing eateries that A, they graduate with a serve safe, they graduate with a barista a certificate, but more importantly, the employers are not wasting dollars, have to train these uh, measurements again. So it's a win-win situation, but mostly for our kids. Again, we figured out a way to keep these kids gliding. The, thing that, the things that Hunter uh, knows now, that he can teach now, he would never forget that. So again, um, our program is based off attraction rather than promotion. When I first met Mrs. Boston, I looked her in the eye and I said, I love you. And I meant that. And she went home and told her mom and said, hey, this crazy chef said he loves me. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> and that's what we do here. We love you until um, they can love themselves. And I can always tell when they love themselves because they'll see me um, in, a, in the first stage. Hey, Chef Bobby, what are we cooking? What are we cooking? And then I'll see them a year later. And they, hey, what's up, Chef Bobby? And I like that. And that's when they start loving themselves. So that's the program in a nutshell. <laughs>